You know, George, I am craving some llama. How about llama neck? That's one of the finest parts of a llama. Mm, is that really the finest part of the llama? Well, you know what's nice about it is there's a little bit of spinal cord right there in the middle of it. Okay. Now, it's true that llama neck tends to be a little bit tougher than the rest of the llama, but uh, the, the, we prepared the meat by sous vide it for uh, uh, some time, I'd say about 16 hours uh, at a low temperature to soften it up and uh, get it ready for searing. So we're just gonna sear it on the grill and then taste it. Now, when a llama spits at you, does the spit come up through this hole all the way up his neck and Are you a doctor? Because you seem really well, well versed about how the body works. Yep, I think that's how it works. All right, let's toss this on the grill and see what it is. Okay, but I think we wanna sear this. We want a hot grill. We're gonna spread this out, sear it for not long at all. Cause it's already completely cooked. Already There's totally no need cooked for, for cooking it anymore. It's been cooked and tenderized. We want to get some grill flavor. Okay, let's, let's pull try them off it. and try them. That's all it takes when you've uh, sous vide your meat previously. Oh, I can't remember the last time I've had a good llama neck steak. Nope, oh, here. Mmm. Do I have to share? Oh, no, you can have that one all for yourself. I noticed the camera crew hovering in close with their forks ready to go. Now, should we eat the spinal cord first? You can. I'm going to eat. I need this part over here. So, you see the sous vide's actually still left the, the meat slightly pink inside. And uh, it is tender. It sort of breaks apart with your fork and knife. So that's good. It smells to me like pot roast. It does. It smells like pot roast. Wow. That's it's a good a taste. Very interesting taste when yep. I swallowed it. I didn't notice it when I first started chewing it, but a, a very strange taste when it hits the back of your tongue and you swallow. Yeah. So that's one good way to prepare a llama neck. Uh, sous vide it until it's soft, and then toss it on the grill to sear it, and then you can serve it with pride to your friends.